Perseverance made news last month with its discovery of features dubbed leopard spots that could have formed from ancient microbial life. After driving hundreds of meters away, it's found similar spots, but were they made by microbes or minerals? On this episode of Mars Guy, the bright angel feature in the ancient river channel called Neret Vivalis has proven to be more interesting than anticipated. Perseverance found fine grain rocks there shot through with sulfate veins. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The veins are unequivocal evidence for mineral rich water percolating through permeable rocks, which also have been found elsewhere on Mars by two other rovers. But it's the strange spots in between the veins that got scientists' attention, along with the best detection yet by perseverance of organic matter. Similar spots on Earth are referred to as reduction spheroids. They form in hematite-rich sedimentary rocks where iron-reducing bacteria convert oxidized iron to reduced iron via their metabolic activity. This bleaches reddish rock to whiter shades where the microbes are making a living. Perseverance collected a core sample of the spotted and veined rock for return to Earth. It's the most compelling rock yet for hosting potential biosignatures. This was described by the mission's lead scientist at a Mars conference I attended last month, which happened to coincide with the announcement of the provocative findings. Having done all it could to investigate this rock, Perseverance drove away, heading back across the valley in the direction of its long-term route out of Jezero Crater. It made a detour to check out bedrock exposures that could be related to Bright Angel. The stop on Sol 1227 was especially interesting. It's here that Perseverance found a prominent pothole in the bedrock with smaller examples nearby. These are places where cobbles and boulders that may have been deposited by the flowing Naretva River were buried by sediments. They were later exhumed and eroded to nothing leaving just an imprint of their former presence. Perseverance used its gas dust removal tool to blow the dust off this slab near the big pothole, then took a look with the Watson camera. It revealed all sorts of interesting features. The streamlined shapes were sculpted by wind and sand, creating long tails of softer rock downwind of harder blobs of whitish stuff that's probably made of sulfate like the veins found in Bright Angel. There's a redder hue where the tanner colored dust was blown away. This looks like the color produced by the iron mineral hematite, which also was recognized in Bright Angel. And like those rocks with their leopard spots, this rock has similar spots, although without the dark halos. They actually look more similar to the reduction spheroids on Earth produced by iron-reducing bacteria. But it's the presence of the whitish blobs that make this a questionable interpretation. They look strikingly similar to bird droppings, which on Mars would be an epic discovery. Think about that next time you have to clean some off your car. So are the spots just discolored versions of the bird droppings, or are they places with reduced iron? It was a second location next to the rover that really made me question the origin of the spots. Here, the Mascam Z camera got an image of a rock that includes spots with a range of shapes and sizes, but all similar in color. You can also see an interesting mix of pebbles and chunks of rock, some rounded and with a smooth texture that speak to the jumble of materials that were deposited here. I interpret the light tone spots as likely sulfate minerals that precipitated from water percolating through the jumble after it was emplaced. The composition of the light tone spots here was measured by the Sherlock and Pixel instruments. If they have the same composition as the larger and wider blobs, then they aren't candidates for bleaching by iron reducing bacteria. The fact that Perseverance has moved on from this location suggests that that may be the case. And it shows that in the search for evidence of microbial life on Mars, seeing spots comes with the territory. <laughs>